Hello Twin Flames and welcome to your Daily Angel reading for Saturday the 21st of January. It's also a new moon in Aquarius today and that means there's changes ahead. Tomorrow we've got the water rabbit coming in. There's a lot of power cleansing energy. There may be some cool weather where you are, some cleansing rain, snow, you know, Arctic blasts flowing in. Or even if you're operating in a hot climate right now, things are being moved around. There's a lot of change. Things are being burnt out and things are being cooled away. So we're going to use the Spirit Junkie cards today. This is a great deck by Gabby Bernstein. So thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, for this deck? What do we need to know on Super Saturday? What's the energy flowing in? And, you know, the saying as well, it's warm inside. So even if it's cold outside, whether that's the weather or whether that's the way that your twin has been towards you or, you know, there's things going on in the world right now that may not feel very nice to you, you always have a choice. You can choose to be the light that shines out, the warmth, the sunlight, the light in the darkness. So you can always feel warm no matter what's going on. And you can always feel the fire of that love. And that's what I'm feeling. When I'm connecting with the energy of this day and I'm connecting with you and your twin, I feel a lot of heat. So again, there's that Kundalini rising energy, the sexual energy, the power, the passion, the fire between you, the way that you are one, that you are connected no matter what. And the message we've got today, we've got four cards. So the first one says, I am committed to bringing forth my greatness, I will no longer play small. And this is so powerful because this is a day to shine bright and stand tall and show the world your power, to show yourself your power, because that's how we show the world who we are. First of all, we show ourselves, and we realize who we are, why we've come and what we're here for. And that can cause a lump in the throat. You know, they just give me that little block there because it can be scary sometimes to stand up for who we are and show that to ourselves. When we first wake up and look in the mirror, we have to face our own truth and our own fears. And, you know, that's what the masculines are going through. And Divine Feminine, you may have done that long ago, but the masculines are still learning every day. And they're still finding new aspects of themselves to love every day. So have compassion for your twin today. He's saying to you, I'll no longer play small. That means he doesn't want to mess you around. He doesn't want to have small conversations or have small amounts of time with you. He wants to make it bigger. He wants to make it better. He wants to make this commitment stronger. And he's saying, I am committed to bringing this forth, my greatness. And I feel that's also a message about your journey coming out into the open, moving forward, the greatness of it. And this is you standing tall and saying, I know who I am and what I want. So you're prepared to fight for what you want in this lifetime. And the angels have got your back. So this is also a message for you today that as you make your way into the world and take your place at the table, wherever that table may be, whatever you know your journey is, whatever you have to share, the angels are with you, supporting you, guiding you every step of the way. And when I lead from a place of love, people respect me. So when you operate in your higher self, when you lead with love, which means you respond with love, you act with love, you follow your path of the heart, which is through kindness and patience and empathy and understanding, no judgment, operating through love, not fear, choosing to operate through love, not fear, seeing both sides of a story listening not just speaking that's how you lead from a place of love understanding from a higher perspective and knowing that everything you've been through has given you the tools to lead with love people respect you because you understand them and they understand you and they realize that you've been through it too people respect you because you are deserving of respect so you can use affirmations such as i am respected I am valued, I am valuable, I am lovable, I am exactly where I need to be. I take charge of my life and I lead with love. And when you do that, the whole universe will shine bright for you. Compassion. So lead with love and compassion. So the angels are really helping you to see today how you can be respected. 
So if you're thinking my family don't really respect me or people at work don't respect me or my partner doesn't respect me right now, my twin flame isn't respecting me right now, have compassion for what other people are doing because hurt people hurt people and everyone is operating from their own true self and sometimes that true self can be dealing with the ego. So they are operating from a place that may not be from love and they are in pain. So you're being reminded to have compassion for other people because everyone is doing the best they can. Compassion is my compass. I am willing to hold space for the experience of others. Isn't that powerful? I am willing to hold space for the experience of others. And what I'm really feeling with this is, is that you're being reminded that all the pain, you know, all the struggle, all the times we get knocked down, you know, we get blown over. And we stand back up. We are fighting for this love. We are fighting for our truth. We're fighting for our place, not just in society, but in the world. Because we are saying, I am not going to dim my light. I'm not going to be small in this world because I've come here to be a big part of it. I've come here to be a part of your life, Divine Masculine. Let me, let me show you I understand through walking in your shoes for a while, through the eyes of compassion, love, empathy and understanding. So you're being reminded that everything you go through on your journey, big and small, hard or easy, light or dark, up or down, high and low, it's all to grow you. So you walk with experience. So you can say to someone, I've been where you are and I got through it. I understand. I feel it. I know what you're going through. And then people understand you, that you are coming from a genuine place and you are respected there. So the angels are reminding you that all is well. And if people are lashing out at you, your twin or the people, people at work, they're just dealing with their own struggles. And their own struggles caused by ego that tries to edge all the goodness out and bring fear in. And when we see it from a higher place and know that that fear-based energy really comes from a little child within, just craving attention not wanting us to fail or struggle, we can relax and breathe and be more gentle with ourselves and others. I accept the gifts I've been given as a high service to the world. I accept the gifts I've been given. Two things coming through with this. First of all, you've been given gifts when you were born by God. You may just be uncovering them now or wondering what they are or working out how to use them, but they are a gift that you've been given. And you've been given those gifts to use in high service, to help others to shine your light. Whatever those gifts may be, it may be your gift of communication. It could be your gift of compassion. It could be your gift as a healer or a channeler or something else. The way you work with animals or children or maybe you are creative, you are an artist in your field. But whatever you do, that's a gift you've been given. And it's time to share that gift with the world in the now. And also accept the gifts that you were given. And they're giving me the word high street. So I feel that someone may have an opportunity today to go to a high street. And it's Saturday, you may be going shopping or you may be going for a walk around, a mooch around. You may be going to a high street and you may receive gifts there. You know, you may buy yourself a little treat because you deserve that. Or you may notice a sign or a synchronicity or something while you're out and about on a high street. And that's a gift that you've been given to help the world. I also feel someone may be thinking about opening something on a high street. So maybe you're thinking about opening a shop or... You know, you could be selling spiritual tools, books, crystals, card decks. You could be doing a service from that establishment that's on a high street. I feel someone needs to hear that. So that's also saying to you, get ready to shine. They're also showing me flowers here. So maybe there's a florist out there and, you know, you want to open a floristry on a high street and this is your sign because that's your gift to share with the world you know flowers are so beautiful when they are arranged in an amazing way I mean they're beautiful anyway but you know when you arrange flowers for an event such as a heart tugging event like a funeral it brings love in to the family of the people who've lost that loved one 
you know, speaking from personal experience as well, you know, a, a wedding, how beautiful the flowers are and it makes the day go bright and beautiful, you know, or just a special occasion, Easter, Easter bonnets, you know, Easter baskets, they show me beautiful flower arrangements. And maybe that's what you need to bring into your home right now. Maybe that's what you need to buy yourself. Treat yourself to some flowers. Bring those in. It's always beautiful when spring is here. You know, when spring starts coming in because we see the daffodils. And we know things are starting to bloom. And it's snowy weather here right now in the UK. You know, we've had snow for a few days, but it's cleansing everything. It's very beautiful and bright and magical. And it's cleansing. So a lot of cleansing energy around before the springtime. So remember, just before things spring up in your life, it may seem cool. It may seem cold. It may seem a bit barren, like there's nothing going on. But under the surface, everything is about to bloom and thrive. So today, stand tall. Have a great day. Know that you are valuable. You are respected and you are valued, not just by your twin flame, because they really do love and value you no matter how it seems, but by the world, for the gifts you've been given, and most importantly, for the person that you are, the way you shine your light bright, regardless of the weather or the amount of light in the world, you shine bright like the lighthouse that you are and show the world your truth. And that makes you a leader of love and a pioneer of truth. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.